Alrighty, guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Uh, today we have a, a little bit different of a topic, but I think it's going to be fun. Before we get into that, if you see all these awesome people here on this side of the screen, I am recording this live, so if you ever want to join us, I stream live on Twitch every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're ever bored around that time, please come hang out with us. It's a lot of fun. We talk about a lot of different stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a good time. So today we are going to be talking about pink sauce. Why? Why are we talking about pink sauce? Well, it's basically taken the internet by storm. Everyone is talking about it. It got, got really big on, uh, what do you think? TikTok, what a surprise, right? So it got really, really popular. This is a creator that uh, made it and it's become quite the meme and but also there's a little bit more to it um and it are, honestly can be quite dangerous and it's been shown that there might have been some uh, mistakes made when it came to this sauce and people receiving this sauce but we are going to take a step back who was the creator of the sauce right who made this pink sauce well let's find out so this is the creator right here this is chef P pie chef pie I don't know and from what I can see I'm gonna be using Instagram videos it's just much easier to find them than TikTok TikTok is a wasteland of I just don't even want to go there so we're gonna be using Instagram it's basically the same videos right but that's what we're gonna be going on I'm also wearing pink shorts for the occasion alrighty uh, so this is what I can find is like the first time this pink sauce was um, was posted right so it's just her eating uh, uh, some fried chicken with this pink sauce So this video went pretty much viral, especially on TikTok. Like there's a good amount of views here on um, on Instagram, but nothing like it was on TikTok, right? And then people started asking, what is this? What's going on? What is that? Like, I want to taste that. What does it taste like? And a whole big thing that's the whole sauce thing has been is that she hasn't really said what it is. So if you don't know who this is, she is um, a supper came kind of like celebrity chef. She like does a lot of catering and, and she start, made this sauce, which in and of itself isn't a bad thing if it gets it gets you some views, gets you some traction. We all know there's a lot of younger people on TikTok, and so bright pink sauce is going to get people's attention, and it clearly did that, right? So if we look at her profile, like once she posted this pink sauce, like it started becoming a thing, right? She was posting it all the time, all the time. It was getting posted, right? It was, it was just very, very frequent, right? And so... With the, with the sauce being so clearly prevalent in her stuff, people started wanting to have it for themselves. They started wanting to taste it. They started wanting to, you know, it's, it's just how people are, right? And so what did she decide to do? She decided to start selling this sauce, which this might be a hot take. In and of itself, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all, actually. I think that, you know, there's tons of small businesses that make a product and then people will start buying it, right? There's a, there is a difference though here, right? When something goes viral, you are not just selling stuff to people in your local area where you're able to store it and you're able to make sure it's taken care of before it gets to the consumer, right? This was being shipped across state lines, uh, you know, across the US. It's very, very hot right now, and so there have been quite a few issues when it comes to the safety of this sauce and how, how it is being shipped. Quite a few issues. One of the ingredients is milk, and uh, <laughs> I don't know how much y'all know about milk, but it doesn't like being hot, right? And so there is this article that we are going to be going over. This is from, uh, from Health dot com love love health dot com it says why tiktok's pink sauce has some food safety experts very worried already so it says the new viral condiment has sparked quite a bit of conversation and concerns online well why would that even happen that's crazy right so let's go over it pink sauce the new pepto bismol colored condiment made famous by tiktok has recently sparked a conversation around food safety particularly regarding products made by small businesses the viral topping in its creation of chef pie a private chef in miami who went viral on the social media platform after sharing a video of her 
dipping a chicken finger into a bowl of the bright pink sauce. That video, shared June 11th, has gotten over 800,000 views, and it launched the journey of her pink sauce product. Over the following weeks, Chef Pie and her pink sauce received quite a bit of criticism. The pink sauce label came under fire for misspelled words, vinegar instead of vinegar, and a curious amount of servings per container. 444 one tablespoon servings, which amounts to 28 cups of product. <laughs> Others complained about shipping issues, including bloated or exploded bottles, or changes in color and texture upon arrival. Now, you can't go to her website and see the nutrition facts anymore, but there's this video on YouTube that has it before it was all deleted. So if we uh, look at the nutrition facts here, right? So it says there are 444 servings. Now, this was on people's bottles when they got it, okay? This was on people's bottles when they got it. 444 servings per container. And a container is like a normal bottle of like ketchup, right? It's not gigantic huge, right? 90 calories claiming to be one gram of fat, which we'll get into later, four grams of fiber, okay, zero grams of protein, and there are 11 grams of sugar. So if we do 90 times 444, that is 39,960 calories. So, <laughs> so, there is a possibility, not really, obviously, but if you are going off of this, this label, there is 40,000 calories in this pink sauce. This stuff must be absolutely amazing, right? But, okay, so obviously that's not correct. Obviously that is wrong. But again, if you are shipping these things, these things should be flushed out, right? <laughs> 40,000 calories. It's amazing. It truly is. It truly is amazing. All right. So we're going to keep going. Chef Pai, who did not respond to health's request to comment, attempted to clear up some questions in a live stream on YouTube and TikTok on July 21st. The, the video has been deleted, so we can't watch it. She reminded viewers that her pink sauce is still a prototype being shipped to people across state lines. Okay, um, meaning the product is still in its testing phase. Chef Pie also clarified that 444 servings is a mix up, darn. I really was hoping there was 40,000 calories in that bottle. We ship those to, you know, countries that are, you know, struggling with food, world hunger solved, you know, but sadly the pink sauce doesn't, is not a secret calorie bomb. Uh, mix up saying that it was a graphic design error and she, and that the color of the sauce changed due to user request. So what that is about is, like, if you see the video, the first video, it is bright, super bright pink. And if you watch some of the videos of people getting the sauce, it's like a barely, it's like tan with a tint of pink, right? Which obviously is not the same. Still questions around the infamous pink sauce remain. Like, what's really in the condiment? Why is it so pink? And how can the, pr I mean, probably just food dye, right? Like... I don't know. Maybe I don't. I don't know anything about food. I'm an idiot, but that's what I would think, right? Um, and how can the product, which is being sold online for twenty dollars a pop, which is ridiculous, right? How much is ketchup? Not that much. Um, be given away to customers while it's currently in lab testing. <laughs> oh man! Here's what you need to know, and why food experts are concerned. And have, or why they have some very real concerns. What exactly is pink sauce? Pink sauce, or the infamous dipping sauce everyone is raving about, according to its website, is, well, a pink-colored sauce, and an infographic describing the sauce is made up. The ingredients listed uh, include dragon fruit, sunflower seed oil, chili, garlic, and honey. The label gets a little bit more detailed. It specifically lists the following as pink sauce ingredients. Water, sunflower seed oil, raw honey, distilled vin vinegar... <laughs> Oh, man. Garlic, uh, pitaya, which is dragon fruit, pink Himalayan sea salt, dried spices, lemon juice, milk, and citric acid. As for the sauce's nutrition content, one tablespoon serving of pink sauce clocks in at 90 calories and contains uh, one gram of fat. And this is editor's note. This is likely an oversight since sunflower oil, the second ingredient in pink sauce, contains 14 grams of fat per serving. Sodium, 60 uh, milligrams, carbs, 3 grams, and zero protein. 
according and regarding how it tastes, that's up in the air. It's a little tangy. We got a little spice. It tastes a little bit of ranch, one TikTok user said, adding that it's everything combined in one. Health concerns, <laughs> health concerns associated with pink sauce. In a screen recording from one of her live videos, Chef Pai is seen commenting that the pink sauce doesn't contribute to your health and therefore doesn't need to be vetted by the U.S. Food and Drug <laughs> Administration. It doesn't contribute to your health and therefore doesn't need to be vetted by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Wow, interesting. All right, that's pretty crazy. Um, but that's not necessarily true, and food experts say that there are a few negative ways pink sauce indeed can contribute to your health. <laughs> botulism, nice, um, is one of the main concerns. Foodborne botulism specifically um, occurs when a food has been contaminated with, I don't know, botulinum toxin? I'm not even going to act like I know what that word is. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Provision, the CDC, foodborne botulism is a product of homemade foods that haven't been properly canned, preserved, or fermented. Benjamin Chapman, PhD, a professor and food safety specialist at North Carolina State University, told Health that these concerns are valid. In food like this, when you see low acid foods like raw garlic or dragon fruit being put in high oil co um, content, we've seen similar products lead to botulism in, a, in, in the past without any acidification of those low acid food, Chapman says. The unknown pH of the product or how basic or acidic it is, basic is like the opposite of acid. It's not like they're saying like basic, like, oh, it's just basic. They're, they're using basic for the actual term of like scientific term for what it is. All right. I remember that from science class when I was in like 10th grade. All right. Um, has food experts uh, especially worried. A pH reading over 4.6 specifically raises real concerns about botulism, according to Donald uh, Schaffer. PhD, a microbial risk assessment and cross-contamination expert at Rutgers University. Jesus, that's a lot of words. All right. What's really unknown or unclear is the pH of this product, added Chapman. Some people say on TikTok that when the bottle is open, it pops or fizzes or a gas is formed. And that's an indication that there could be a growth or pathogens. The lack of refrigeration. Oh, yeah. The, okay. These are getting shipped not in any sort of refrigeration. They are being put in manila envelopes, basically, and sent out the door. Y'all know how hot it is right now? Most places are over 90 degrees. That is insanity, dude. That is insane. They are shipped in an envelope, and they're just put on their way. Good luck. Have fun. Let's see how it goes. Yikes. Jeez. All right. Which really, no, I already read that. Yeah. So the lack of refrigeration also raises eyebrows and could potentially turn stomachs. The fact that it's shipped unrefrigerated really concerns me, said Chapman. Um, and it's due to some ingredients like milk requiring refrigeration to remain safe and fresh. Pink sauce may be part of a larger food safety problem. Oh, my. We're going deep, y'all. We're going deep. We're about, oh, we are, we are breaking down the food safety problem in America right now. Pink sauce may be the most newsworthy food safety issue right now, but it's not necessarily the only one. According to Darren Detwiller, PhD, an associate professor, oh God, more words, of food safety at Northwestern University, there has been a growing concern in the food safety world about these type of direct-to-consumer products. Some people just start a business and hope no one catches on. Detwiller told Health, this is a trend that is happening more and more. We haven't caught up we haven't caught up in terms of changes and regulatory pol policies. I mean, this is normal, right? When, when, especially with the internet, things happen so quick. It's like any sort of, any sort of like trying to deal with it and trying to handle it, it just doesn't happen because it's way too slow because things happen immediately, right? This stuff was posted for the first time, like what, two months ago? And now it's already being shipped and now it's already been canceled. And now like there's already been so much stuff has happened. There's no way they're going to catch this stuff right away, right? These policies state that products sold in the U.S. in stores, including condiments, are regulated by the FDA and that people who want to sell dressings and condiments to the public may, uh, must have a food faculty registration to do so, facility registration to do so. The FDA says online applicants also need to meet FDA standards around product labels, manufacturing processes, and more. But the rules aren't so straightforward to the with direct-to-consumer companies like Pink Sauce, which 
are often subject to state-by-state regulations. It really depends on the jurisdiction that the individual company is in, Chapman said. Each state has slightly different rules about food entrepreneurs. In North Carolina, for example, where Chapman is based, food like this could be made in someone's home but would require an assessment of the product to make sure it's considered to be low risk, he explained. That would require an inspector showing up to someone's home and addressing whether the individual could make it safely, Chapman said. Complications can arise when it comes to regulating small smaller food makers, but it is possible and necessary for small companies to do things by the book. For the the first place that anybody needs to start is by contacting their local health department to find out who would regulate them and what the rules are. He said, but Chapman said things are more difficult when someone sells to a wholesaler who then puts products on store shelves. That's when the FDA's regulations kick in, he said. Another reason the FDA would step in is if the product is sold across state lines. The FDA involved in food involved in foods that are shipped through interstate commerce, said Schaffer. It appears that pink sauce is shipped uh, through interstate commerce, so FDA would have regulatory authority. And the pink Pink Label's uh, label mishap isn't all that benign either. Debt Roller said that specific laws in terms of what it, what is required on the label and if someone claims that their product contains a certain ingredient, there has to be actual evidence to prove those claims. You can't just put anything on a label and leave anything off a label, he added. For now, until further testing is done, Pink Sauce and the product gets out, until the product gets out of prototype phase, it's best to be cautious before consuming and buying it and similar products according to food safety experts buying food from a brand new company that has no reputation is akin to buying meat from the back of a pickup truck on the side of the highway down by the rivers (laughs) he's going in um until there's been enough information and data out there if you make an educated decision you need to really think about consuming something like this yes i agree i agree a hundred percent on that assessment there all right so with that being said, it's clear that there a lot of stuff is going on. So the products has actually been pulled from the website. If you go to the website, it says that it is like sold out. You can't buy it. But now there has been very recently within the past few hours from when I'm recording this video, there has been an update. There has been a big update on this story. Let's find out. So this was posted, I think, about seven hours ago. Let's find out. Good morning, good morning. I know y'all been wondering where I'm at, where is Chef Pete, and what's going on with pink sauce, and why is the pink sauce sold out? Well, I'm extremely excited to announce that the pink sauce is entering with Dave's Gourmet Hot Sauce Company, in which I'll have the opportunity to collaborate with food experts with over a hundred years experience in the food, commercial food industry combined. I'm so excited about the growth and scaling of the sauce and the pink universe and the boys and the girls that support the movement. Thank y'all so much for believing in me. Thank you so much, Dave's Gourmet, for believing in me and supporting my dream. And it's go time. Good morning. So that is that is the video. And should we read this? I don't know. I've done a lot of reading. I, I don't think I need to read this, right? She's She said everything. So... Basically, she's partnering up with a bigger company that can deal with the shipping and stuff. I don't know. For me, personally, obviously, I wouldn't trust it at all. But I think that it's a better thing that someone, a company that has this experience, is going to be handling this from now on. And it is no longer going to be shipped in manila envelopes, you know. But I just thought that it was very, very interesting. And I had to share that little bit bit of information that who knows maybe you'll see this at a local grocery store and you'll think to yourself "Hmm, maybe I should try that pink sauce I don't know I don't know if it's a good idea but I just had to share that because apparently we'll see I mean we'll see who knows I don't know I don't I don't have a super strong opinion on this I just think it's absolutely hilarious and it just goes to show that people will do anything influencers say bro it is crazy some people will just trust anything the internet is scary do not trust influencers okay that's all i gotta say don't trust them because they don't give a shit about you thanks for watching peace